heck is going on here? Listen to that bad boy. What you doing there? Rick Mav, baby! <laughs> Listen, you guys have seen the Rick Mav in episodes such as uh, Evo Dynamite parts 1 through 7,000. It's a lot of going on. But uh, guess what? We're back and we're doing something a little bit special today. Special? Okay. Nick, come help me real, real quick here. Oh, on the new table? <laughs> <laughs> we got a set of mother effing tracks. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Hell Look yeah. at those. Dude, our boys at Can-Am came through with a set of Apache LT360 tracks. These Apache, are year-round tracks, the greatest, latest set from Can-Am. So these are going to be going on the Rick Mav, because the Rick Mav is going on the orienteering, the snorienteering. Okay, 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 okay. Big turbo, 300 horsepower, Evo, done up on tracks. It's going to be freaking wild. I mean, if you have to put your life in the hands of a single machine, I can't think of a better one. The Rick Mav would be it. Than the Rick Mav. So yeah, boys, I tested these things out in uh, Quebec like a year-ish ago. Quebec? I knew I needed a set, so I hooked up a Can-Am and got these things going for us. Super happy. We're going to go through a little installation video today, a little rip video today. And really show you what 300 horsepower can do on tracks. Oof. It's gonna be wild. <laughs> so prepare for that. And uh, yeah, man, really excited. Nick, what do you have to say? Really excited. Yeah, man, really excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do I have to say? Uh, yeah, really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's speechless. Look at those tracks, Look man. At those things, things are. Dude, these are Apaches, dude. 360 LTs. Hold on. Take this one off real quick. Uh, You're gonna want to see the ones underneath. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more! <laughs> Look at how big these are. Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of freaking traction. That is a lot of traction, so we'll be able to float on several feet of snow. There's when a lot of in, power here, too. Yeah, when I was in Quebec, I was on like eight feet of snow, just... Just yeah, floating. Awesome. I saw a lot of videos of you getting stuck in Quebec. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get stuck because I didn't know what I was doing. Anyway, long story short, we're gonna install these today. We're gonna rip them today. And I'm very happy about it. How do you feel? Very happy about it, dude. Good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> From the side by side bar, world headquarters in Michigan, featuring Doug Battlefield, Papa Leo, and the Susanator. This is Side by Side Bar Garage. All right, man, you got this figured out? Yeah, dude, so it's pretty interesting the way they do the instructions. So you can actually go online and get an instruction kit. So it's pretty interesting. Like you literally just get instructions, high resolution photos uh, for your particular kit. So this okay. one is the Apache 360 LT. They also have an Apache Backcountry LT, which uses sliders off a uh, snowmobile. And they're a little more aggressive paddle as well, which is for basically 100% snow use. These can be used in dirt and in snow. So we're not really sure exactly what we're gonna hit on this trip. Likely. Probably, probably some dirt. Dirt and snow. Right. <laughs> so this is the kit for us. But having said that, we have this uh, crazy box of brackets here that just blow my mind on how thick they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are absolutely <laughs> ridiculously heavy duty. We could probably heavy just duty. take this and turn it into an AR very short. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look just, how thick this is, Doug. Uh, this, I think this is 10 millimeter thick stamped steel. I mean, it is. And this clamps to the yeah, bottom okay. of the AR. Right there, dude. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. Yep. Yeah, so really, stickers. Really interesting. Show you where everything goes. Good instructions. Obviously made exactly to fit this machine, so right. I think the install is going to be not too bad. So the tracks themselves just bolt right on as if they're wheels, right? So you see the hub, it's got the holes in it, it bolts onto your lugs. But all this bracketry is necessary to keep the tracks in alignment, essentially, to keep them from rotating around, to keep them from oversteering. Right. So A lot of important stuff, because with tracks, we've had this happen before. Yeah. They will rotate and basically just take out your entire fender well, which would be a bad thing. So Cannon really uh, has got your best interest in mind for the gigantic <laughs> yeah. bracket. Just drop this and see what happens. You should do it. Yeah. Watch your toe. Man. Hey, nothing. It didn't even bend. Yeah. Do you believe that? Heavy duty. 
<laughs> so anyway, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll start out front and um, just jack this bad boy up, take the wheels off, and kind of see where these things go, refer to the instructions that we got, and uh, every minute we work is a minute closer to ripping. Wow. I just can't wait. Wow, that is profound. Let's think do about it. that. <laughs> Montage, frick yeah! <laughs> Look at how clean that is. It's as if he never even drives it. You know, three. Step in there, Doug, get an approving look. Super fast. I mean, we're probably 20 minutes into this project and we've got basically all the brackets on the front end already. Nothing had to be disassembled to put them on. Everything was color coded to fit per corner. Just really slick so far. Really, really slick. So basically, we're at the point now where we can bolt the track on and we got to put the little uh, spring guy on there and our little steering limiter and we're going to have one corner done. Oh my God. Yeah, this is. So far, a really, really nice kit. It's gone together extremely well. Right, and it's designed for each machine that you get the mount kit for. So this isn't like a universal kit that's made to fit. Like this is made to fit the XRS, and there's one that's made to fit the XDS, and there's one that's made to fit all the other machines, the Maverick Sport, the friggin' regular Maverick Trail, like everything. Amazing. Simply amazing! <laughs> so bright. <laughs> I'm on! It's time. Drop it low, Nick Seuss. Oh my gosh. Looks pretty tough from the front. Front is done. See if you can scrub it out a bit, Doug. Oh, yes. <laughs> not wide or nothing. Wow. Super wide, super awesome. So one really cool thing about tracks too is it actually spaces up your ground clearance quite a bit. So the center line on the wheel is much higher, or on the track is much higher than the wheel. So you're gaining ground clearance too, you're gaining snow traction, you're gaining a footprint. Yeah, they're serious units. They're serious units. With that kind of power behind them, oh my gosh. This is uh, gonna be a tough machine to stop. Yeah, heck yeah, man. I like that. Let's just say, she'll be burning right now. <laughs> now the course, dude. Don't cook the chicane, man. Don't cook the
very cool. <laughs> it's very, very cool. It is such a mean looking machine, man. Like very, very excited to get out and rip this thing. The install was honestly easier than I expected. We're probably three hours into it, something like that. Not really working at a furious pace and it's, it's done. Like I had to, there were no holes that I had to hog out. There was no prying of anything. It was just bolting stuff on. Very, very slick. So quickly tell me how the back went on since I wasn't here for that. Yeah, man. So basically the, uh, the lower bolt that connects your hub to the lower uh, radius rod comes out and gets replaced with a longer one. And you've got this large bracket that pops up from underneath another little bracket over here. So basically it connects using that lower bolt and that's it, man. There was this bracket that we had to bolt onto the track assembly and then, uh, you know, your rotation limiter. That was that, very simple. You did have to take the wheel scraper off the bottom, which is just, you know, four bolts, super simple. Just wow. very, very nicely thought out Wow, kit, for sure. She's badass, man. Yeah, she gonna one rip. Thing, one thing left here. She gonna rip. Fire this thing up, rip right. her outside. You're right. Let's hear a rumble real quick, dude. Take, we'll take it out to the track, man. There's probably a lot of powder out there. Oh yeah, track nation. <laughs> is a nasty girl. Yeah, Maybe the toughest machine I've ever seen. On tracks, over 300 horsepower. Sounds insane. Like, whew. Yeah, let's do this. Yep. Yeah, Dougie. <laughs> also just realized, this is probably the highest horsepower X3 on tracks. I know Evo's got, one of their 2020s on E85 with tracks. This is more horsepower than that though. This is 310 at the crank. Real beast. So ready. Oh my god. It's definitely an X3 on tracks, dude. I'm not sure if you're aware. But uh that's freaking tight. Whoa, okay, whoa. this ice is not freaking tight. Are you ready, Doug? I'm beyond ready, man. I'm gonna go give this thing a little stress test. Let her eat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, just listen to it. It's pretty, dude, it sounds so nasty, man. Like, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't realize this before, but it is just aggressive when you fire that sucker up, the castle, captain's choice open. She's screaming. It's one of the more aggressive sounding X3s. Yep. is unbelievable levels of hook. He needs to come out here and play. Yeah. Like there's a lot of little stuff that I want to see this thing hit.
this thing is wild man it is wild like when you tip into that kind of power with the tracks in four-wheel drive it is such just a great pull like you're on ice you're on snow you're not expecting what happens like it just drives it's it's so good that's badass it's man. so good it looks so good coming around these corners dude like you were putting the power down so well dude and just drifting them like no problem yeah snow flying everywhere x3 is just screaming dude, <laughs> dude the people are freaking out dude that thing is just bop, 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 bop. but when you point it in a direction and and give it the beans like that's the direction it's yeah. going like it's just <laughs> pulling you Super cool, man. Super cool. It feels great. Everything feels totally fine. The tracks aren't skipping. Nothing feels weird. So I think we can continue to uh, lay into her a little more. Yeah. Let's do that. Try to get in a little pow now, dude. Let's get a little pow pow. Yeah. Little pow in your life. All right. Yump right there, too. Just throw it. Just saying. You're right. You're right. Maybe we should go all back. Let's maybe go all back and see what that's all about. Okay. Okay. Maybe there's a maybe there's a jump back there. I'm not sure. I think there's a jump. Yeah. All right, boys. We're out here at the track. Another giant double was made. You probably can't tell, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that that double has not been proven out yet, even in the dirt. So I'm gonna say we're not gonna hit that today, but we're just gonna give this thing a nice little rip, continue our uh, little stress test, maybe hit some kind of partial gauntlet laps here. Heck yeah, yeah dude. Sender. Turning radius not the strongest, but that's a hard berm anyway. That poor blow off elm, dude. <laughs> She's just blowing off. This is, this is... Here we go. Will he make the double of doom? It's actually a pretty good double, but just trying to build it up. <laughs> <laughs> They can survive that. They can survive pretty much anything. All right. It didn't not case. Overall, good stress test. <laughs> <laughs> How's it look up there? Uh, they hit pretty hard. Oh yeah, no, I felt that they hit hard. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these things are good. That was that was a pretty hard hit. That was um. One of the cooler things I've seen today. <laughs> Overall impressed, man. Like, 
this unit works great on these tracks i think you know we've got plenty of confidence now and that's what we were trying to gain out here today so we're going to take these things on a pretty long multi-day adventure basically out in the wilderness in a place where there are wolves and we want to make sure <laughs> that they're not going to let us down and i'm basically completely confident why are you mentioning wolf? nick do you know about these wolves i, I didn't know until right now wait a minute what the hell? <laughs> a place where there it's are true. wolves it's bears true. devils and demons dude there's nice animals too there though so it's all right squirrels birds and that's it <laughs> well anyway huge thanks to KM for these tracks really excited like i said i drove them in quebec they were freaking awesome can't wait to drive them here in michigan and some real pow up in the upper peninsula yeah it's gonna be overall a great time yeah absolutely absolutely i hope you guys can hear me so thank you as well for me to can am gonna have a great time with these things thank you for everybody to everybody that watches and supports us like you guys are really the reason we're able to do this kind of stuff so for everybody who's subscribing donating on patreon buying parts on the parts site just buying the merchandise and we do have some new merch as well if you want to check out with a little track on there a little tire tread boom and uh yeah just thank you guys so much for having an absolute blast with this if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that we got all sorts of stuff to come with this machine we got projects like you wouldn't believe coming so all sorts of adventures we'll be back in a couple days we'll see you guys there okay see you bye nick all right man